Hey guys, be Mr. Casual, and in this video, we're going to be talking about um Bull Nichols on potential next um UFC opponent. It's it's been like revealed, not officially confirmed, but before but so let's talk about it. We're gonna be reading an article on MMANews.com. But before we get into it, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to so support the channel, I would really, really appreciate it. All right. So um, so they're basically saying like Bo Nichols next opponent um could possibly be um this guy named Sean Gore. So let's read the article and then let's see what they say. Bo Nichols, um, po um, potential next UFC opponent revealed. UFC middleweight prospect Bo Nichols might not have to wait long to get his next octagon assignment after winning his debut, right? Remember, he won his debut against Jamie Pickett. He absolutely destroyed him in the first round. So yeah, let's continue. Another middleweight um, has called out Bo Nichols following the highly um touted highly doubted um ufc prospects recent debut win and claims that he's in line to fight him next um bonicle passed his first ufc test with flying colors by submitting jamie pickett at ufc 285 he remains unbeaten in his professional mma career after an, after an illustrious run in collegiate wrestling in penn state um bonicle has big ambitions for his ufc career including a possible future matchup with ufc star hamza chemayev yeah, they they might set that up in the future, but I don't think it's anytime soon. Maybe in like a year or two, two years or something like that. If they want to put like give Bonica more experience in the octagon ring before they just give him to Hamza, you know what I mean? So let's continue. But that would be a really like interesting fight to see for sure. Let's continue. But he'll need to work on um, his way up in the middleweight ladder before realistically earning a title shot against the 185 elite. Okay. In the meantime, Bonicle has a slew of fellow um middleweight prospects willing to challenge him in the octagon one of them a former standout on the ultimate fighter um recently claimed that the ufc offered him a fight later this year with bo nickel um treshawn gore reveals offer to face bo nickel um next in a recent instagram post the ultimate fighter um 29 finalist treshawn gore said a matchup with bo nickel is allegedly in the work see let's read that again treshawn gore reveals offer to face bo nickel next in a recent Instagram post, the Ultimate Fighter 29 finalist, Treshawn Gore, said a matchup with Bo Nickel is allegedly in the works. You know, this is Treshawn Gore, Bo Nickel. So there you go. Let's read the, the Instagram post. The at UFC. Let me know about the four or five days ago about th this potential matchup. And I'm all in and agreed agree the mo um the moment the opportunity was offered to me i've been waiting patiently on my return we both received each other's names and that's that how do you how do you guys feel about me and bonicle july 10th international fight week um the night the night two legends collide johnny bones and stipe how would y'all feel about us opening up that pay-per-view because because again i'm in i respect bonicle and the wrestling skills but this is no wrestling match i'm waiting for you bro let's um let's go i will come I will come the best I've ever been. Send the contract. Jesus is great. So yeah, that's the whole article. All right. So my opinion is right. Um, apparently they're saying like that a uh, Bonicol like um Treshawn Gore was all for Bonicol and Bonicol was all for Treshawn Gore and they basically both agreed and they and, and Treshawn Gore is like oh we want to fight under the you know John Jones versus Stipe card. But honestly, my opinion is I think Bo Nickel would absolutely destroy Treshawn Gore. Don't get me wrong. Treshawn Gore has really good boxing. He has really good Muay Thai. He's very aggressive. He has a shitload of power. But I don't think his grappling is that great. I think his grappling is definitely not anywhere near Bo Nickel's grappling, not even close. And I think Treshawn Gore also gets tired pretty qu fairly quickly. And not only that, but Treshawn Gore's record in the, um, in, in the, in the UFC if you look at it, he's um he won one fight and lost two. So he's one and two in the UFC. You know what I mean? And I know Bo Nickel is still new, whatever, but I think Bo Nickel is absolutely going to smoke Treshawn Gore. I think they're just feeding Treshawn Gore to Bo Nickel the same way they, they fed Jamie Pickett to Bo Nickel. I, I think Treshawn Gore has absolutely no chance unless, unless Bo Nickel just decides to stand there and strike with Treshawn Gore because... Then maybe Treshawn Gore has a chance, but Treshawn Gore is dangerous on the feet. You know, his boxing, his Muay Thai, he's very aggressive, has a lot of power. Um, on the feet, he's dangerous, don't get me wrong. But Bonical, you know, he's mainly he's he's a like a world class wrestler, and his striking actually isn't that bad either. And he has a lot of power. I just think it's a mismatch. I think um Bonicle's gonna grab um Treshawn Gore and then it's it's over. The same way he grabbed um Jamie Pickett and it was over. 
I just think once he gets his hands on Treshawn Gore, it's, it's a wrap. Because this is mixed martial arts. This isn't, this isn't boxing and Muay Thai, which is Treshawn Gore's specialty, right? Just the same way Treshawn Gore told Bo Nickel, like, this isn't wrestling, this is mixed martial arts. It's, it's the same way, the other way around. This isn't boxing and, and this isn't and Muay Thai, you know what I mean? So, I'm just saying. I, I just think Bo Nickel is absolutely going to destroy this man. I think they're using um Treshawn Gore as a stepping stone for Bo Nickel. I think they're just trying to pad Bo Nickel's record, give him some confidence, give him some more wins under his belt. And eventually, little by little, they're going to keep giving him better and better fighters. The same way what they did with Patty. And on the same way that they, they did with Sean O'Malley, you know, they were giving Sean O'Malley easy fights and eventually Sean O'Malley got harder and harder fights. They were giving Patty easy fights. And then, you know, eventually they gave Patty a harder fight with Jared Gordon. You know what I mean? They're going to slowly give Bo Nickel harder and harder fights. You know what I mean? But the first couple of fights, since he just had his, his debut versus Jamie Pickett in the UFC, right? Obviously, they're not going to give him some crazy ass opponents in the, you know, in, in the second or third fight, you know? So they gave him Jamie Pickett, and now they're giving him Treshawn Gord, which is like it's gonna be a super easy fight for Bo Nickel. I think. I think he has this in the bag. I think he's a like pretty much a lock. He's a crazy favorite. I think Treshawn Gord has absolutely no chance. He could talk big on Instagram posts all he wants, but let's be honest, he has no chance. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys think Treshawn Gord has a chance against Bo Nickel. Remember, this is not confirmed yet, right? This is just speculation. You know, Treshawn Gore posted said he's been offered to fight Bo Nickel. And, and Bo Nickel saying he got offered to fight Treshawn Gore. And and then Treshawn Gore said he agreed to fight Bo Nickel. And they're saying that they're trying to set it up and stuff and all that. Treshawn Gore even posted an Instagram post about it. So this is like all but officially confirmed. This is like as much as as much as you can confirm it until it's officially confirmed and signed. You know what I mean? Like Treshawn Gore seems to think very confidently that he's going to be fighting Bo Nickel next. You know what I'm saying? So this is like... As official, as confirmed as you can get before it's officially confirmed is what I always say. You know what I mean? And usually whenever whenever you see stuff like this, not I'm not saying all the time, but usually whenever like one of the opponents like, yeah, we're we're pretty much set the fight. We just got to sign the things and whatever. That usually means that the fight really is going to happen. Because I cause I know sometimes you guys leave me comments and you're saying, oh, don't clickbait because this isn't, um, they didn't send the thing yet or whatever, right? Yeah, but do you know how many times um, I make videos about two people and I and I and I say they're literally gonna end up signing. This is as much as I, as much as it can be confirmed as as you can before it's actually confirmed, and then and then and then it ends up being confirmed like a, week, a couple of weeks later. You know what I mean? You know? Like for instance, um, the Leon Edwards Usman rematch, it wasn't confirmed for a while, and I, but I, it was like as much as confirmed as it could be, and and then it became confirmed, and then people were like, oh shit. Then I remember when I when I found out about the surreal gone versus John Jones thing, um, people were like, "Oh, this it's not officially confirmed. They didn't sign it yet because it got leaked, right?" But but then I but I literally said in the video, it's like I'm like, "Yo, it's as it's as officially confirmed as it can be confirmed before it's officially confirmed. It's as it's it's as much confirmed as it could be before it's officially confirmed." So I remember when I made the I revealed the surreal gone versus John Jones thing, T-Mobile Arena, whatever it said, and then people were like. Oh, oh, this is this is like um clickbait, whatever. It's not officially confirmed. But then in the video, like once again, I, I know I'm repeating myself. But I, in the video, I never said it was officially confirmed. I said it says it says as much confirmed as it can be until it is officially affirmed. You know what I mean? And then later on, it became confirmed anyway. Same thing with the Leon Edwards thing. Same same thing with a lot of fights that I said that that are pretty much in the works and are probably going to be officially confirmed. You know, it's not clickbait because I ended up being right. You know what I mean? Like I always, because a lot of times there's always, you know how you guys know how UFC is. There's always talks of who's gonna fight, and usually we we have an idea who's gonna fight until it's officially confirmed. Like we as fans usually know who's who's gonna fight who before they sign on the dotted line and it becomes officially confirmed. Hardcore UFC fans always know who, who's gonna fight, or most of the time, hardcore UFC fans know. We always know who's gonna end up fighting before it becomes officially confirmed. You know, I'm not clickbaiting. This, 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 we, always, we, we always do a lot of research and we, we have an idea, you know, until so it's officially confirmed. So I'm just saying, you know, but yeah, once again, I think th this guy's going to get, um, Treshawn Gord's going to get, is going to get fed to Bo Nickel. And yeah, so we'll see what happens. You know, it's his MMA. Imagine, imagine like Treshawn Gore gets mad lucky and does some crazy spinning shit and catches Bo Nickel. That shit would be crazy, but that's not going to happen. Let's be honest. Bo Nickel is just going to smoke this dude. You know, but anyways, guys, me, Mr. Casual, remember 95% of you guys are not subscribed. 
If you guys please subscribe, tell us about the channel. I'll really, really appreciate it. And let me know who, what you guys think. Who's going to win in the comments? If Treshawn Gore has a chance against Bo Nickel, let me know what you guys think. Okay? Be safe, everybody. All right, take care.